two, one. Hello, everybody. My name is Jay Too Sweet. You can call me Jay for short. And today we got another viewer request. All right. So remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So then they all just start boxing. A whole ass turf war. Oh my god, but he broke his neck. That is dead. Then we got this dude smiling while beating this ass. Then this man jumps off a car on some WWE type and just gets a whole ass double kill. Okay, we starting it off with the ignorance. Let's go. Mmm. Hey, 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 no, 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 mm. All right, y'all, so as we know, there's been some pretty good anime that's been coming out lately. But out of all the new anime, my favorite new anime right now has to be Tokyo Revengers. Now, some of y'all are probably like, CJ, why is this your favorite anime right now? Well, simple. Tokyo Revengers is Black Air Force Energy, the anime. Well... <laughs> okay, let let me get introduced to it. Let's go. Like dog, bro, this shit is a wild. Like dog, my niggas God, getting God, drunk, my niggas my getting God, beat God, the God, up God, from God. left to right. They are having whole ass gang wars in middle school, and then I'm just sitting there watching it like, damn. Like this anime has gone to the point where I'm going to have to literally analyze and give this a entire Black Air Force energy synopsis video. Cause I'm telling y'all, once the new round table is constructed, quite a bit of these dudes are probably gonna be sitting on there, along with this guy. Because this guy's video is taking so goddamn long because there's too much shit I gotta put in it, damn it. We already did that video. Links will be in the description down below. I'm just gonna put it out there. That dude is crazy. His son is crazy. Every anybody that is around him is crazy. <clears throat> but anyways, but like I said, it's time to give this show a Black Air Force Energy synopsis. So I have compiled everything from episode one through fifteen in one entire exhibit. And then okay. when the anime fully finishes, I'm gonna have another one. So damn, I guess this one's gonna be a two-parter. But anyways, y'all already know we got the evidence on deck all and right. it is time to dive into this a1 savager hey but let me go ahead and give that spoiler warning real quick if you have not seen episodes 1 through 15 you might want to watch yourself because there's gonna be some spoilers up in this hoe so watch it and then come back so oh so what i always do is what i always do is i'll i'll watch it i'll watch the anime and then i'll come back to the video but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter for me i'm gonna watch i'm gonna probably if it's if it makes a round table i'm probably gonna watch i'm probably gonna watch it anyway so it doesn't really matter for me so i have no idea what's going on so let's just go ahead keep going <clears throat> exhibit a all right all right so we're introduced to our main character takemichi and okay. goddamn if he don't get off his ass and clean up this nasty ass apartment, <laughs> bruh. Like, bro, you know it smell musty as hell in that hole. This man got some dirty ass dishes that he probably ain't even washed since he moved in. Man got some trash bags on the floor, probably making it smell like foot fungus in that bitch. Like, get your lazy ass up and go to the dumpster, nigga. Nasty ass got beer cans and Playboy magazines all over the damn place. And oh, oh hell no. Nah. You horny, nasty ass nigga. Ew. Ew. Ew, look, okay, look. I don't shame nobody for what you do in your own place or anything else. Do what you gotta do, darling. Whatever makes you happy makes you happy, okay? As long as it's, as long as it's consensual adults and you're not hurting children or animals, I don't care. But if you gonna have, if you gonna do that, bruh, just at least throw that in a trash can, okay? You don't need your DNA all over the place. Thank you. Thank you. Please tell me them tissues is not the aftermath after you just finished beating your shit. I am disgusted. It is. Oh God, get your lazy ass up and put it in the trash. So while this man is eating his potato chips and scratching it. You eat a potato chip scratching your ass and have. Where my hand sanitizer at? And for the people in the back who, for the people in the back who who was saying this this is hand sanitizer i don't know what kind who keeps baby oil by their computer setup but my setup cost me around about seven thousand dollars i don't know who keeping all of the who keeping liquids like that can ruin a pc by the they pc but that says more about you honey than me why you keeping baby oil by your pc clean up and make sure you go throw your kleenex away too okay 
wiping his ass with his greasy ass fingers. He's watching the news and he realizes that his ex-girlfriend just died. Oh, and guess who's the killer? The isekai sending machine himself. Chirakun strikes again. Let's go. Let's go. Body to his list. So yeah, homie kind of down bad, bro. I mean, we've seen his room. His ex-girl just died. He's working at the local blockbuster and shit. So how could his day get any worse? Shit, uh, well, get pushed out into the train tracks. Bitch, call the body, body, we go, go, we go, go. Fuck with us and then we tweaking, ho, tweaking, ho. So after he gets ran over by Train Tron, he gets sent back 12 years into the past. Back to his middle school days as a whole ass delinquent. So these dudes out here looking for a fight with some second years, but they did not understand the fate that they was about to catch. Cause they end up running into these niggas, bruh. Smoking cigarettes and shit, looking like they goddamn 30 years old. And look at them shoes. <laughs> these niggas got on the black ones. So yeah. <laughs> They got beat the fuck up. Face stomped in, hit me shots, get stomped the fuck out in the broad daylight. Hey, yo, where's everybody at, bro? Like, does nobody see this shit going on right now? I'm taking the same thing. Like, is is so is this in Japan? This is Tokyo, so I so it's in Japan. What the hell is going? Why does this look? Why does this feel like Detroit or or Chicago? Like, y'all just getting y'all just having people, random people getting stomped out in Japan. Like they jumping shit out of these niggas in the broad daylight in the middle of a damn park and nobody saw that shit. I cannot see I'm legally blind. <laughs> Alright, so after they got their ass beat, my guy's like, ah shit, I gotta go check and see if my girl's still alive. Make sure Truck Coon hasn't struck yet. And hey, what do you know? He hasn't made his move yet. Like, look at these tears of joy. Like, this man is in pure relief right now because my guy's like, oh, thank God almighty Truck Coon hasn't struck yet. So he figures out that the little brother's handshake is a link so he can jump around time and shit. So these two are like, alright, bet, let's work together to save Hina's life from Truck Coon's almighty wrath. Hey, but it ain't gonna be that easy though because my nigga gonna go through some goddamn tribulation. Cause this man goes back into the past and spawns into a whole last pit fight. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, more goddamn minute. Just to get knocked the fuck out. And then after that, since he lost the fight, bro, he got jumped by the dudes that had a bet on him. Then this nigga with the black forces started beating his ass with a bat. Like, he was beating his ass from the rest of the sun like they had in the day till goddamn dark. Man was just laid out and packed. We fall down, but we get up. Like, look at his leg, bro. The nigga can't even walk. So after my guy gets a whole ass morale boost from... What the fuck is going on? Ah, uh, what is happening right now? I'm sorry. Like, just imagine jumping back in time just to get your ass beat. Truck coons I'm trying to say, I try to be a captain, save a hoe, got my cape on and everything, and I jump in and I just get my ass beat. I'm Smil. He's like, I bet time to stop being a bitch. I'm about to fight the nigga that beat my ass with a bat. But but it, it, it didn't go so well. Cause he was getting an A1 ass whooping by a nigga with a cigarette in his mouth. Man been watching too much One Piece for a long time. So then ooh, his homie's a... like, I bro, ooh, I gotta ooh, my go, nigga back, out, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. We gonna go back. Go back a little bit. Live shoot. I can walk you through this. That was that was great. Hold up. Let me see how he get his ass beat again. But but it, it, it didn't go so well. Cause he was getting the A one ass. Number one punch. <laughs> Number two punch. Back kick. Time. So then his homie's like, all right, bro, I gotta help my nigga out, bro. So he pulls out a whole ass knife and is about to shank this nigga. But when everything looked like it was going downhill, lo and behold. The two Black Air Force gods have arrived. Draken and Mikey. First off, first off, let's just look at the appearances real quick. This nigga got a whole ass tattoo on his head in middle school. And you could just tell by his walk, bro. He pulls up like a whole ass menace. Hands in his pockets and shit, not giving a fuck, bro, bro, bro. You know this nigga got hands for days. And then Mikey. Now, when you first see Mikey, you're like, who is this goofy ass little nigga? Like, I thought he was Draken's little brother or some shit. Then everybody starts bowing, and then you're like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Some ain't right here. Then it shows that he's a whole ass commander, bruh. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a minute. First and foremost, first and foremost, I never, I always try to tell people, never discount the little person and never discount the odd person out, okay? Um, it was it was a it was it was a comedian who said this and I don't know his name but he said he said he said that one white guy in that group of all black 
all the black kids that's the most that's the most crazy guy right because you don't know what he had to prove to get into that group i always say the person the person who's leading the pack is never the person that you need to worry about it's the person that's behind everybody that's walking a little bit far behind and everything else I have seen this happen, seen this formation so many times because people think like, oh, if you're in front, you know, you get most attention to everything else. But the way that a lot of, uh, a way that a lot of, uh, uh, gangster mafia structure themselves is they let the they let the pawns go in front it's like a chess game they let the pawns go in front make sure everything cool so so they won't get hit and then they then they enter the room you know you ain't got to be the first one in the room you ain't got to be the first one in the room you ain't got to be the first one across the street okay truck coon will will check you back into check you back into that but I, just just Always watch out for the little ones. The little ones be the ones that, that's the most crazy, okay? This man radiates so much Black Air Force energy when he boss, he got everybody bowing and shit. And then just look at the look, bro. This man is like, I'm that nigga. Let me just kick the shit out of this motherfucker. Like, just straight up embarrasses this man in front of everybody. That's a good and push, kid. add more salt on the wound. This man, Mikey, literally pulls up on him with a smile on his face. And then kicks the shit out of his ass. Oh my Ooh. god. Chin check the fuck out of his ass. And some flip front. flops, nigga. Look at his That's neck. He gave his kid. whole ass neck scoliosis, bro. Then he grabs his head and starts beating the shit out of him. Oh my that's, god. That's, that's just gangster technique. Oh, that's why I, I can't like, tell you anything damn. else. He being that nigga ass. Then he just stomps his head in with a smile on his face and he's like, all right, time to go. Oh my god. I've no more fucks to give. My fucks have run up dry. Yo, this man is a whole ass savage dog. He walks up into a whole ass fight club, makes everybody bow down to him, then beats the shit out of this nigga, then leaves. My god, dog. <laughs> so then after that whole debacle goes down, they all become pretty good friends. So then he gets invited to a whole ass gang meeting. And then he gets kicked in the back by this ugly ass granddaddy long legs looking ass boy right here. Hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. Like, look at his head, bro. This nigga ugly as fuck. Like, dog, it is sideways. How can you turn your head like that, you fucking marionette? So they're having this gang meeting right now. I was waiting for you at the dough. I heard about you. I was waiting on you at the dough. Because they're about to have a whole ass gang war against this gang called Mobius because eh, they, they did some shit, some heinous ass shit. Like they beat the brakes off of this dude's friend. Read dude of the healer, his girl right in front of him. Then they robbed the nigga, then beat up his parents and his siblings later. Like, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Look at her, bro. No, no, nigga. You got a box after that, my G. Hold up. I'm sorry. You get robbed, you get redo of a healer. Go check the description for that. I'm not going to say it out loud. And then your parents still catch the hands. God, lead, dude. What did the dude do first? I really, nigga? I'm not blaming a victim here, but I'm like, for you to get all of that, what? I need to know the rest of the story. Like, why did you feel that you needed to do all of that first? Now, I'm not saying that there's any justification for doing none of that, okay? But I want to know what prompted them to be like, you know what? I'm going, uh, you know what? You did this, so I'm going to do all of this. Like, you gotta run the hands after that, bro. So we finally get to see some of that backstory no jutsu. This man got the whole ass tattoo on his head in the fifth grade, bro. Out here beating the shit out of niggas. So this whole ass middle school is smoking a cigarette. He like, hey, yo, nigga, I need you to find this dude named Mikey. So when Draken first meets Mikey, he's like, who is this little snot-nosed bastard? I was expecting a whole ass middle school giga nigga or some shit. No, no, this man Mikey didn't waste no time with this sorry ass nigga. He straight up flew at his ass and dropped it the fuck out, bro. You got knocked the fuck out! 
laid his ass out and smoked his pack. And he did this in elementary school. Man, these little kids these days out here getting these black forces early as hell. So then we go back to the conflict that Takemichi's trying to stop because if he doesn't stop this, then our boy Dragon's gonna get got. So he's like, hey, y'all, we don't need to fight these niggas. But of course they didn't listen. This nigga Paul started beating the shit out of him. Now I go cap though. Paul Loki is a real nigga. I mean, he's trying to stand up for his homie and his homie's girl that got beat the fuck up. Bro, bro, I'm sorry. This nigga ugly as shit. And let me guess, you have a great personality. Paul seems like he's that one dude in the friend group. Like, he's like the most realest and chillest nigga in the group. But he the ugly nigga that don't get no hoes, bro. But he a real one, though, so he got my respect. Um. Chillest nigga in the group. But he the... Did the, did the, did the Chinese lady not like you? I, or, or Asian, or, or, or look, look, look. Actually, I have somebody who is who is uh Arabic who who threads my eyelash uh, eyebrows. Why did they not give you the rest of your eyebrow? Like, am I the only one that see it? There you go. I'm gonna fill that in for you, baby. There you go. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that in for you. Perfect. You a you a boss ass bitch. I'm a boss ass bitch, 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 bitch. Now just take a photo. Take a photo and put that on your IG hoe. Perfect. I got you. I got you. Ugly nigga that don't get no hoes, bro. But he a real one though, so he got my respect. But then Mobius pulls up to they whole ass spot ready for the smoke, dog. Like they brought all the ops and every shoot on the block. So then Paul starts fighting on them. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at these clean ass jabs, dog. Snapped his whole head back, dog. Look at his face. Man is already out on his feet. Then this nigga Mikey's like, sit back and watch, guys. Mikey, Mikey, everybody ain't you, bro. Get this nigga out of here. Like, I understand having heart and everything, but come on, throw on the goddamn towel. Dude ain't even got on shoes no more. And then the dude finally passed out. I was like, thank God, bro. I couldn't watch him. You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> that shit no more so then mikey's like you did well my guy thank you for opening for the main event and look at all these stupid ass grunts talking all this shit like they some dumb asses like if i see a dude walking like this bro some ain't right this man is just casually walking up to him with his hands in his pockets ain't even looking at him and just one shot the shit out of his ass he only needed one shot bro he, it. Oh, he bro. needs some milk get this nigga with the nastiest roundhouse kick <laughs> that's I've what about and just drilled his face into the ground bro Bro, we need like a name for this kick or something. We need to call this like the Mikey 3000 Roundhouse or some shit. Cause yo, that's just nasty. That's not even a roundhouse kick. Cause a roundhouse kick, you're supposed to hit with the flat of your foot. He hit with the toes. That shit hurt. And he he went down. Like he went down on that. Oh my God, my toes hurt. But, but what I always tell my students, follow through. Ah, all my toes would have been broken because you're supposed to hit with the flat of your foot. He hit with the toes. Oh, all that force, it will crunch your toes. You'll break your toes. I've seen people break their toes before. It is, an, it is not a pretty sight. It just looks like a, just think of like a bag because you think like, oh, it's like a bone will snap out. No, it's literally like, okay, here's your toes. And it just crunch down and it's you can't really get your toes reconstructed unless if you want to go in for surgery because your your bones are too small. You can't put your toe in a cast because your your bones are too uh too small. So what they end up doing is basically not ca they cast your foot your toes, but they don't actually put a cast on it. They basically kind of like line your toe up. It's like line your toe up. If it's really if it's really really bad, if it's like extremely bad then they'll go in for surgery but basically what they'll do is they'll they'll do an x-ray and if it just popped out of place they'll just pop it back into place and then they'll have you sit with like you'll have like this little toe splint on your toe for for like a couple weeks until it heals so you'll be walking a little bit funny Then all the shit talking grunts are like, oh, what the fuck, bruh? What, what, what just happened? Your leader got dropped in under 10 seconds by a nigga in flip flops. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, that's just embarrassing. So Put this guy just loses up. it and tries to shank Mikey. But this man Jerakis said, cut that shit out, my boy. So then the cops are coming in. Everybody's trying to dip. So to add more salt to the wound for this nigga, Paul comes out of nowhere and shanks his ass. And was like, I ain't letting you get away with that shit, bitch. But it was kind of stupid, though, because my nigga Paul had to stay and get arrested. I mean, it was only for a year, though, so shit, uh, shit, nigga, that was worth it. Shank somebody and you only get a year? What that would be what uh assault with a assault with a deadly that that bruh Japan got hold up but he is a juvenile that's why he's a juvenile and the thing is it and they're in middle school oh my god middle school juvenile if and then in some states in some states, if you're under, if you're under the law of actually knowing what that means, like some states is 13, other states is like 12. If you do a crime and everything else, they basically gonna put you in like, uh, what do you call it, juvie for like, like maybe two, three years. Or if you're completely under, if you're completely under the age limit, what they'll do is they can charge parents and everything else. I know. Criminal justice major, don't, 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 don't mind me. Shake the shit out of that nigga. You think you'll get away with all the shit that you fucking did, little bitch boy? Fuck out of here. So later on, y'all remember the guy that got like the shit kicked out of him? Yeah, mm -hmm. this guy's back because he wants to kill Draken for embarrassing his sorry ass. So they find Takamichi out here being nosy and shit, so they beat his ass up, ties him up, and just leaves him there. So Draken ends up getting sneaked because this nigga is a stank ass rat. <laughs> his granddaddy long legs ugly ass boy. Homie trying to get revenge because Pa went to jail. Nigga, why you mad at him? Pa could have left if he want to. <laughs> You rat ass, snitch ass bitch. Ratted out your whole crew to a whole ass another gang. So then Mikey. What? Why are you 6 9 in? Why? And then my whole thing is if he wanted, he didn't have to. He didn't, he didn't, like they said, he could have left and everything else. And honestly, he could have left, took the knife, cleared it off, and then what it would have been like a whole gang of people, it's going to be like a whole gang of people and everything else saying that he did it. But the thing is, like, when, when people take eyewitness stuff into account, they they look at the biases around it and everything else, and like, why would this people be saying this and that, and they have to explain why they were actually there. And a lot of people don't even want to put themselves in a situation like that first and foremost and then they all see like oh okay this person really has something against this person so that's why it's coming down a defense attorney would have had a field day with this and he could have got off if he ever got caught you know but it's a pocket knife so you can literally like just th wipe your fingerprints and throw it a fuck away like you hold up i'm sorry my true crime is coming out i love true crime i was gonna be doing true crime if i didn't do anime but um yeah whatever uh he pulls up and he's like hey bro what the fuck is going on you little red ass bitch this ain't how we do shit and then this tall lanky ass boy comes out of nowhere and he blocks the mikey 3000 roundhouse so obviously you know he gotta be the leader so this man brought a hundred members to jump the shit out of four niggas but nah we don't do no jumping here boy because the whole squad pull up on some whole ass gang activity so then they all just start boxing a whole ass turf war. oh my god but he broke his neck that nigga is dead. Then we got this dude smiling while beating this nigga's ass. Then this man jumps off a car on some WWE type shit and just gets a whole ass double kill. So then Mikey's like, hey, get your little rat ass out here, boy. This man is really holding a whole ass conversation while whooping niggas asses in front of him. And yo, this man is so lucky Mikey is a nice guy and treats this man like family. Because if it was anybody else, this nigga would have got smoked for ratting out his whole crew. So then Takemichi sees old Hello. dude and he's like, wait a damn minute. He got blood on his knife. Oh shit, my nigga got got. But this dude is such an absolute unit. He is still alive. But here come Kiyomasa's bitch ass with his whole little nasty ass click. Some rat ass niggas themselves. So obviously Draken can't fight at the moment. So my guy Takemichi's like, all right, bro. I gotta grow some balls. My girl's watching, my homeboy's watching, the girl I tried to fuck in the karaoke booth is watching. I cannot afford to be a bitch right now. What? Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> what? Is watching the girl I tried to fuck in the karaoke booth is watching. I cannot afford to be a bitch right now. And look at her believing in her man and shit. Nigga, she a keeper, bruh. Takemichi, you better not fuck anything up, bruh. So before they even fight, this little bitch ass nigga stabs him in the fucking hand, bruh. But my Nick. Wait, wait, 
wait, wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. More goddamn minute. Ow. What the fuck, dog? <laughs> I know they're gangsters. It's a turf war. Anything is fair, but I was not expecting. My hand hurt. I, I'm got I getting phantom pains. Oh my god! My guy rips that shit out of his hand and starts biting him Mike Tyson style. Motherfucker trying to eat his ass like a whole ass ghoul. And then he gets his back, puts his ass in a whole ass rear naked choke, then chokes the life out of that nigga like a boss. Bitch ass nigga. Hey, oh. oh my goodness gracious, Joe Rogan would be going crazy over this shit. Choked his ass out and smoked his pack. Takemichi went from bitch nigga to real nigga real quick. So these old punk asses gonna try to jump them and shit, but luckily the homies came through. The ride or dies pulled up, bruh. This just shows that everybody need a ride or die nigga, bruh. Like, these niggas is straight up family. Dom Toretto will be so proud right now. <laughs> like, look at him, bruh. He pulled up in the Bruce Lee stance and the other ones in the whole ass flying crane. Let's hey, yo. Go. I mean, even though they get they ass beat, they some real ass niggas. And I mean, hey. they held them off till they had the retreat, so that's a dub. I mean, they had to take this man Drak into the hospital, but I ain't worried, though. He a real nigga, though. He gonna survive. Mm -hmm. Shit, it's just a stab wound. This little rat ass nigga pay on at the goddamn hospital oh you so lucky dom toretto got a big influence on mikey's life <laughs> because if that was me and you almost got one of my homies killed i'll tighten no tweets or throw no fish get shot in your shit i'm smoking your little red ass hold up what bruh y'all are forgiven y'all are some you know what jesus ain't done working on me yet i'm gonna be honest and serious if you if it and you came to the hospital i was waiting on you at the dog you came to the hospital? I already got my insanity defense. I already got that ready. You came into the hospital after after you set you set somebody close up to me. I've no more fucks to give. My fucks have run up dry. So, sorry. I, I'm no. Hell no. I do I do with two much stress as it is and then yo dumb ass walking to that hospital i got enough ptsd depression anxiety and name a few more disorders that i could whoop your ass and i'll get away with it okay trust me check my medical history bitch i ain't playing with you Man, fuck out of here, bro. So Takemichi finally finished his mission. So he's like, I bet I can finally go back to the future and everything's gonna be fine. I mean, he's still working at the dusty ass blockbuster and shit, but everybody's alive though, so that's a dub. Man got to talk to Hina again. I don't know why the fuck they broke up. My nigga, she's a keeper, but I mean, you do you, chief. But then, <sighs> Jesus Christ. So he goes to the bathroom and tells Hina to go to the car. Then when he comes out the bathroom, you remember the tall, lanky ass nigga that blocked the Mikey 3000 roundhouse? This yeah. nigga says, You're not in the car? Oh, that sucks. I was hoping I could take care of you both at once. What? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. No. What? No, we ain't doing this shit. What? So Hina's just chilling in the smart car, right? And lo and behold, look who's behind us. Somebody trying to stop my divine wrath. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious, I tell you. Good show, good show. Oh, what a surprise, Fizz. You didn't think Big Daddy Chuck Hoon would come and find you because your little boyfriend went back in time to save your little sorry ass? You may stop me once, but Big Daddy Chuck Hoon will always come back to plow your little bitch ass. Well, I hope you enjoy your night tomorrow and fuck us in the No. Truckoon strikes again. And look who was the driver, not my ride or die nigga. Oh what? my god. And bro, he literally had to watch her suffer in that car and get blown the fuck up. Oh my Jesus Christ. 
Oh, Chuckoon, you evil son of a bitch. <laughs> Takemichi and Naoto are like, ah, oh, shit, bro. We got to start again from square one. We got to make sure none of Chuckoon's vessels are summoned to this domain. So they do some research, and we figure out that our boy Dragon is on death row for catching multiple bodies. And we forgot the dude that's doing all this bullshit is this ugly-ass bastard right here, Kisaki. So obviously, uh, we're going to have to go back in time and murk this nigga to make sure his ass ain't breathing in the future. Because if this nigga ain't breathing, she's breathing. And we want her to breathe. So our boy Takemichi she goes back into the past to stop Kisaki. Oh, and what do you know? This ugly bastard got promoted to the third division captain. So our boy Takemichi's like, uh-uh, fuck all that bullshit, nigga, and just rushes his ass. Socked the shit out of this ugly ass boy. And then this dude, Baji, remember the WWE ass nigga that jumped off the car? Yeah, but he starts coming in and welling on our nigga Takemichi. I thought that was a bitch. Ah, the return of the Y boner with a vengeance. That's a dude? Hell no. To the no, 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 yeah, to the no. I thought that was a bitch. I'm a boss ass bitch, 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 bitch. I was about to say, damn, Nate, look at that. <laughs> Then this little punk ass bitch punches our boy Takemichi in the face. Oh, I hate this nigga. Then this man wakes up and Mikey's just sitting there like, You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> you awake, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this man like, Damn, cuz you got knocked the fuck out to that Steve Verkel looking nigga. So Mikey sends Takemichi on a whole ass infiltration mission to infiltrate this new gang called Valhalla, the one that the WWE superstar left for. So then this dude, Kazutora, comes up and picks up Takemichi and he's like, Hey, bro, I'm gonna take you back to our base. So when he gets to the base, he sees Baji beating the shit out of this nigga. Like, straight up pummeling his face. And that's his whole ass vice captain. Oh, and guess what? Look, the tall ass nigga's there too. So you already know this little rat ass nigga probably got some shit to do with it. Then they're like, we're gonna kill Mikey. Pfft, I don't know about that one, Chief, but uh, you could try. So yeah, I guess that's really it for Exhibit A. I mean, this is the longest shit I've ever done. Because I kind of did kind of go through like 15 episodes. But hey, I mean, it is what it is, bro. But like I said, bro, Tokyo Revengers is the shit, bro. This is Black Air Force Energy, the anime. And A, when the anime is over and we finally get the rest of the episodes, we can do Exhibit B and put some niggas on this table. But anyways, uh, uh y'all take it easy and I'm going to go ahead and skedaddle. Black. So that is, that was my commentary for Turk. Oh, God, man, my back be cracking jesus christ and shout, a shout out to that person who left that comment he was like he's like oh you're doing that fanfare cracking uh you're doing that fanfare by moving your back by uh pushing your boobs out and i was like bruh when you get double d's on when you get double d's on your chest then then you, then then try to hold them up your back will crack too okay now now getting back to getting back to this one i i really want to watch this i i i don't know where this is at so i i think it maybe it's in funimation if y'all know where this uh anime is tell me tell me down below of course original creator uh of course go support the original creator is dj uh um it is cj the uh, cj the uh, cj the champ there uh go support the original creator these are all my social media links uh and everything else and um all my social media links you can follow me on social media i but if you really want to talk to me a lot go in my community tab i'm always up in there i love my community tab uh that's that's how i decide on what videos i put out and what series i try to attack next so make sure you go go subscribe to i'll uh, go subscribe and look at my community tab again my name is shay too sweet you call me shay for short and like my grandmother always says messed up like my grandmother always says so long animals and bitches feeling like the serengeti on that trail tip you know i'm